Our Marshall Zellinger looks at how technology seemingly sitting silently in our pockets can provide the first crucial clue for investigators who often have little to go on. Cell phone towers often hidden in plain sight know more about you than you probably know you're transmitting. They're triangulating your location. They're trying to determine how far away you are from the tower so they can provide you better service. Mark Poff is a cell phone records expert who testifies in court cases. He helped explain how the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office used what's known as a tower dump to figure out which cell phones were connected to cell towers at four of the locations and times of last week's rock throwing incidents. Doing a tower dump is a Hail Mary. We have no idea who our suspects are. It's a way to establish a suspect potentially that needs to be investigated. The tower dump on the four locations revealed 11 phone numbers that touched all four towers. This is the critical point is when they did the tower dump, they also got some innocent people inside that net. A tower dump is not the end of the investigation, it's the beginning. The tower dump led investigators to track the cell phone movements of one of the suspects they ultimately arrested. The data starts before the first rock throwing incident and at each location of a rock throwing report, investigators say his cell phone was touching a tower in the area. Investigators wrote in the arrest warrant that the phone number of one of the other suspects arrested was also in similar locations. Poff cautions against this being your only proof. I don't think cell phone records or location data that you obtain from cell phone records or, or from um, cell phone providers should be your primary evidence to establish probable cause to make an arrest. The arrest warrants also detail surveillance video that led to a vehicle that was found at one of the suspects homes and also a tip from someone who knows the suspects that were arrested. And then the warrants detail that when the three were questioned, they start talking specifics of the night and then that becomes more evidence. Yeah, all of a sudden you don't need the cell phone records anymore. But I mean, how about the accuracy of these things? Because people know sometimes your cell phone is dead on, sometimes it's not. God bless Verizon, they can't find me in my own backyard in Denver <laughs> half the time. Um, it's question in court and, and, and the company that I believe that Jeffco used, w the way they present their data has been questioned in court, which is why POF, that, that uh, cell phone records expert, tells me you want the other evidence uh, in case this one is appears to be flawed, that you want to be able to do other things. Now, but I'm also, this is something I, I shouldn't even bring up because I don't know the answer to it, but it's like uh, the fruit of the poison apple. Like if you didn't have the cell phone, sure. can you have the rest? That's why you want as much evidence as you can. And it sounds like in this case, the cell phone was just the start. Mm -hmm. Marshall, thank you.